Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. Did you guys miss me? Um, duh, you better have. Well, today we are gonna be doing this perm rod tutorial with Cantu, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, oh my God. Do you guys notice anything different? The tools that you're gonna need for this tutorial are of course a comb or a hair pick. A detangling brush which you guys know I'm loving the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush you also are gonna need some hair clips because when we part and section our hair and finally you're gonna need an edge control brush for styling we are gonna be using perm rods I am using two different sizes so I use the larger size for the top First thing is this dry co-wash. So this is from the Refresh Collection. This is the apple cider vinegar dry co-wash and it has tea tree oil. We have two different root rinse um, products here. This is also from the Refresh Collection. And it says that it soothes itching and irritation, refreshes scalp without washing or water. It's great for weaves, braids, locks, and extensions. So this one, you do not need water. Then this one with the little nozzle is the apple cider vinegar root rinse. Um, plus tea tree oil. This is a gentle scalp detox, deeply cleanses scalp without stripping strands, and it's great for weaves, braids, locks, and extensions. Um, and this one you do have to rinse out. Of course, after washing, you're gonna need to use a leave-in conditioner, and Cantu has, I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of it. This is their leave-in conditioning repair cream. This is everyone's favorite. So of course I'm going to be using this in my tutorial. And finally for styling, instead of using a cream, since their leave-in conditioner pretty much is a cream, I didn't feel like I needed to use another cream on top of that for styling. Especially for rods, I think it's important to use a curling mousse. So we are going to be using the Wave Whip Curling Mousse. And it says it defines waves and curls without the crunch, touchable, frizz-free finish, weightless moisture, and conditioning. So yes, and of course, we need some edge control, girl. Especially with short styles, you want your edges to be nice and clean and in place. So I am going to be using their edge control. I don't have an oil from Cantu, so I am going to be using my jojoba oil. And of course, we're going to use the jojoba oil to get some shine in our hair and separate these curls so it doesn't, you know, frizz up too much. So, let's get started. Now, are you guys ready for a tutorial, like a real tutorial? Like we are not cutting this short. I mean, we are gonna cut it short a little bit, <laughs> but this is a long tutorial. Like y'all, this is natural hair. Ain't nothing fast about natural hair. And editing this was crazy. So y'all gonna see all of this footage, okay? <laughs> so right now I am going in with the Cantu Root Rinse. Now this product is the one where you do have to rinse it out. That's the that's the one I decided to use. And I absolutely love it. Look at this. I wish it was a styler. <laughs> Cause it had my curls a popping. Let me tell you. It has amazing slip. To me, it's very similar to a shampoo, but it is a root rinse. Um, it was so easy to use, so easy to get to your root area because of the nozzle. And yeah, so I just rinsed my hair. My first impression of this root rinse is I feel the tea tree oil. My scalp is like tingling, but in a good way. The scent is very pleasant. It has a more like apple, fresh apple scent, but I definitely feel the tea tree oil. And I actually smell the tea tree oil more when I was rinsing my hair out. But when I smell it from the bottle, it's more of an apple scent. But when you rinse, it's more of a tea tree oil scent. Can too, you guys should come out with a shampoo with a nozzle like this, okay? Now we are ready for our leave-in conditioner. The products you need to style your hair are simply your leave-in conditioner and a styling mousse. And of course, I'm using Cantu products. 
For the shorter sections of my hair, I use the gray perm rods. These are very skinny, so it'll give you a nice curl pattern. Whereas if you used a larger perm rod, it will kind of give you like a like blowout look. The root rinse definitely is the star of this tutorial. However, this curling mousse is everything. Without it, I don't think I would have got a flawless perm rod set. So yeah, this is definitely like a go-to product for my perm rods and you guys definitely should try it. The trick to perm rods is where you put this rubber band. If you put the rubber band underneath of the perm rod, it will not stay. You need to place it where your hair is overlapping the perm rod. Does that make sense? Watch. So if I had put it underneath, uh-uh. You have to wrap it around and make sure it's laying flat on the root and where your hair is overlapping the perm rod. And this will make the perm rod really tight and Basically, it'll help your hair lay flat. And if you do it the wrong way, then you're just leaving your hair room to revert back to your original curl pattern. And that's not what we want. We want this perm rod set, girl, okay? First, make sure the hair is detangled and nice and smooth. Then you're going to place it on the perm rod and use your fingers to help smooth it along the perm rod. You definitely have to keep working your hair onto the perm rod because like I said, your hair will curl up and revert. Next, make sure your hair is extra tight going around this perm rod. And again, use your fingers to smooth the hair. And you may have to do this several times while you're rolling this um, on the perm rod. I feel like I said perm rod a million times, but whatever. <laughs> and again, make sure that rubber band is not down there, right? We're going to wrap it around and make sure it's laying on the root and where our hair is overlapping onto the perm rod. Sometimes you will get lucky where the rubber band lands exactly where you need it to be and you won't have to do that little wrapping motion. Um, but most of the times you have to, you know, you gotta figure it out, honey. Oh, this is the other way. I know some gurus like doing this twisting action. I don't really understand it, but I think you just roll it how I've been showing you and then twist and then roll again until you get to the root. Are you guys still with me? It's the next day and I am about to separate these curls. Alright, so the first curl. So when you separate, you want to go ahead and start twirling the ends a little bit so they're not frizzy. And this twirl is so very important. just a tiny bit get in there and just lift it up just a little bit not too much because we don't want to mess with the shape too much because I feel like the shape looks pretty good um, but I'm I didn't separate these at all because again I want that I want that shape so I'm gonna leave these very tight and hidden so it gives me that tapered look still well, a shorter taper look. Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Extra Hold Gel, Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. Perfect for sleek, smooth styles and ponytails. All right, we are all done styling 
this a short tapered look <laughs> with Cantu, you guys. I absolutely love this hairstyle, you guys. I think I'm gonna keep my hair short forever and just grow the top. Cause you guys know I always end up wearing my hair in a puff anyway. I really just like this look. So I think I'm just gonna keep the sides really short and then just grow the top longer. So it could be like falling and all that good stuff. That is the plan, but you guys know how I am. That'll change, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really love how this look turned out. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but of course I'm just going to make sure I sleep with a satin pillowcase or a satin bonnet. And if my hair ends up being a hot mess, um, to refresh it, I'll just follow these same steps, especially if I notice any flaking or anything because of the hair mousse or whatever. Um, so yeah, this collection is really good to refresh your hair. Hopefully you guys found this process helpful. I am so excited to be back filming hair tutorials. You guys just don't know. Special shout out to Cantu um, for inspiring this video and inspiring my haircut because they reached out and you know, I did a tutorial and it turned out a hot mess. And I was like, oh my God, that's when it clicked to me. It's like, you know, I love filming for YouTube. I love my natural hair, even though it gets on my nerves sometimes. Um, but I've made a living doing this. So that's when it clicked to me. Like, I have to take care of my natural hair. I need to stop focusing on length and focus on healthy hair because that's what you guys want. We want healthy hair. We want to use quality products, affordable products products and just allow our hair to flourish no matter what length it is all right so that's it for this video um i am going to do a giveaway um if you watch the video all the way to the end i am going to be giving away the apple cider vinegar root rinse this is a brand new bottle i have not even opened it here's the one that i did use here are all the stores where you can purchase these products if you want to run out and get some right now of course, they're very affordable. You won't break your bank trying to get these products. They're very affordable. If you've already tried these products, leave your testimony down below in the comments. That will always help with my videos because obviously people are very um, hesitant to even trust YouTubers nowadays because again, we are having sponsors for our videos. If this was a complete disaster, I would tell Kim too, this is a disaster. Sorry, I'm not putting this on my channel. I'm not gonna mislead my subscribers. I know it's hard to believe that, but that's honestly how I am. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, of course, not all YouTubers are that way, but I feel like you can feel that genuine energy of whether this was a disaster or not. I'm telling you, I love these products. They are Yolanda Renee approved. And you guys know I've been going through some stuff with my hair. So if I did not like it, I would have not made the second video. And I would not have went through all this trouble to bring it to you. So I'm telling you, these products are bomb. But um, like I was saying, <laughs> if you've tried these products, and you love them or hate them let me know in the comment section i want you guys to be brutally honest because you know of course all of our textures are different so of course this may not work on somebody's hair but i'm telling you it works on mine and you guys sound off below in the comments let me know how you felt about the collection and we can just keep our honesty that way okay <laughs> yeah i love them thank you guys so much for watching don't forget enter the giveaway and yeah i'll see you in my next video Bye.